children welcome to english class in previous english class we completed the fourth lesson friendship what is the fourth lesson friendship we completed in the semester book and also we learned some grammar points that is so when we want something from our friend so which we are not having what word we should use please please give me a pencil please give me a eraser okay yes after using that when you are returning that to your friend what you should say thank you my friend you should say and they will tell you welcome and if you hurt anyone hurt means uh, unknowingly if you beat your friend or beat your sister or brother or if you quarrel so after finishing that what you have to say sorry okay you have to say sorry and another example your friend is celebrating his birthday so he invited you but you are having some work so you are not able to attend your friend's birthday so at that time what you have to say sorry my friend i won't able to come you have to mention sorry okay so these words we learn and we completed worksheet 1 in the practice book that take practice book page number 14 and we completed this page number 14 yes now we take page number 15 here vocabulary name two things that are of the following shapes they have given some shapes Can you say what shape is it? Circle. This one. Triangle. This. You know this shape. This is half circle, and we call it as semi-circle. Okay. Yes. Next, what shape is it? Square. Okay, children. Yes, you have to write some things which will be in this shape. So, what shape circle? Can you say two things that are in circle shape? Yes, first one, B A L L. Ball will be in circle shape. And coin. Do you know coin? One rupee coin, two rupee coin, three rupee. Oh, sorry, five rupee coin. Yes, those coins are will be in circle shape. Okay, children. It's not triangle, pyramid. So pyramid is a thing. It will be in triangle shape. Okay. And you know sandwich? Yes, sandwich is made up of bread slices. So at house also you can make sandwich. So you you can take two bread slices. In between the bread slices you can keep some vegetables like cabbage. So like that, and you can eat it. So sometimes that sandwich will be in triangle shape. So sandwich. Next, what shape is it? Semi-circle. So in semi-circle, sometimes bun. Do you know bun? Yes, bun will be in semi-circle shape, and I think everyone has seen rainbow. Do you know rainbow? When the rainbow will come? When the rain comes, the rainbow will appear in the sky. So there will be seven colors in the rainbow. So what is the shape of the rainbow? It will be like this. So this is semi-circle shape. So rainbow. R A I N B O W rainbow. Okay, children. Yes. Now this is square shape. Can you say the examples of square shape? Yes. Carrom board. Ball will play carrom board. Yes. The carrom board will be in square shape. And also chess board. Chess board also will be in square shape. Okay, children. This you have to write in page number fifteen of your practice book. This is what our very next writing. So read these sentences and check the correct polite words. Yes, you learn the polite words, children. What are the polite words we learn? Please, thank you, sorry. So these are the polite words we learn. And here there are some sentences. 
I will read the sentences. So there, which following word you have to use? You have to take that word. They had given three words. You have to take the correct following word. First one, I could not come to your birthday party. So they had given thank you, please, sorry. What do you have to say? Sorry. What do you have to say? Sorry, I could not come to your birthday party. You have to take this. Next, can you lend me your pencil? You are asking your friend to lend pencil, new pencil. What do you have to say? Which polite word? Please. Can you lend me your pencil? Please. You have to ask like that. So there is a please option. You have to take it. Next, thanks for oh sorry, dash for the wonderful gift. You got a wonderful gift for your birthday. So what do you say? Thank you. You say thank you for your wonderful gift. So you have to take thank you. Next. Dash help me open this box. Please. Please help me to open this box. Fifth one. Dash for the great dinner. Thank you. Thank you for the great now. Okay? Yes. Next. Dash I broke the waves. Sorry. Flower waves. Sorry I broke the flower bars. Okay children? Yes. These are the polite words. You have to take these words. And next page number 16. Here is your poem. Worship to poem. I will read that poem. In the backyard of my house, in the backyard of my house, I planted a tiny seed last year with great delight. Delight means happy. I saw the first leaves appear. So, the poet had planted a seed in the backyard of his house last year. So, with so much of happy and he saw the leaves coming out of the seeds. Then fruits hung from enough bough. I plucked them one by one, had them all with my friends, had great fun. After some days, that uh, plant had some fruits. He plucked the fruits and he enjoyed the fruits with his friends, with great fun. Okay, now there are some sentences. You have to read and you have to tell whether the sentences are true or false. First one, the poet planted his seed in front of the house. No, he planted the seed back here of the house. So the first one is false. The poet was happy to see the leaves come out. When the seed grew some and the leaves came out of the seed, the poet was very happy. Yes, true. The poet plucked the leaves. He plucked the leaves? No, he plucked the fruits only. So it is wrong. So false. The poet has fruits with his or her friends. He gave fruits to his friends? Yes, true. Okay? And down here, draw and color your favorite fruit. So, which is your favorite fruit? You have to know which is your favorite fruit. You have to draw your favorite fruit here and you have to color it neatly with crayons or colored pencils. Okay? Yes.